Hello and welcome to our weekly podcast, Ramzin Talks. With you, as always, is Nathaniel Masai and Mr. Faisal and Mr. Andres Nieto. How are you guys? Very good. Thank you so much for the invitation. Adi. Absolutely. Thanks, as thanks. always, of course, I always invite you guys. Have you guys noticed, by the way, when we are always sitting down, we always have our phone? Yeah. <laughs> I don't. By our side. <laughs> I guess you're the only guy who actually exactly. doesn't have a phone. It's because we put clients first. It's because right. some I had uh, feedback from some of my friends that you guys always put your phones. And it's because if there are clients, of course... Clients of come course. first. We're doing this for Simply our clients. We are in the always first ready. Huh? Yes, we're we are always, ready. always ready. So if anybody, if anybody calls me right now, I'm just gonna say, "Hey, and what's up?" And, and that's like during the restart podcast. the podcast okay. <laughs> during the podcast. I will we'll see that. I will so see don't that. be sad, guys. <laughs> don't call him in the next minutes, please. <laughs> uh, so this week, I was researching a little bit, and I found some, let's say, misconceptions or myths about real estate in Dubai okay. and I wanted to talk a little bit about that because some people actually believe them and some people actually know the truth and I want to put everyone on the same page. Perfect. Okay. Sounds great. So the first one, it says real estate is easy money. Whoa. I would like to start with this one because uh, okay. sometimes I understand people think like real estate brokers, they just sell the property, get the money and get the next client. But <laughs> yeah. behind each shell, there is a long process, a lot of study and of course, a lot of research. And yes. that's, of course. What do you want to add to that? I would add, uh, when, we, when we are meeting clients and then after we sell, selling I, for me is the easiest part. Someone wants something and then you give them that something. If they like it, they buy it. That's the easy part. The following procedures, that's the hard part for me. Reminding them every single month if there is a payment, taking care of the pro project, I mean the construction prog progress and I have to go and take pictures and videos and I have to remind them if there are any kind of fines, if they are late for any payments, these kinds, and after uh, the project is completed and then Rent renting it out, it out for them. like keeping the rent uh, in the same place, checking f uh, the checks are on the dates that are just supposed to be. Oh my God, it's... Okay, long process. Next, uh, that's after sale. Yeah. Actually, before sale, coming to like being an agent or being a broker. That's. It's a lifestyle. Yeah. It's not a like a job title or something. It's a lifestyle. Yeah. You have to live it in order to get twenty something seven. out of it. Yeah, of course. Most so it's twenty four seven all right. the time. Absolutely. You have to be ready. You have to get the answers. You have to research all the time. That's absolutely true. not. And I believe that you need to reinvest on yourself as well. Exactly. So whatever uh, benefits you're getting, half of it should go reinvesting mm. because you need to present yourself as someone professional, which means new courses, new ideas. Uh, sales mechanisms. Sales mechanisms, uh, everything. Everything, yeah. So Update yourself. Like obviously, everything. you have to take care of yourself. Yeah. You can't be selling properties and wearing uh, shorts at the same time. You know what I mean? Yeah, exactly. So reinvesting, being groomed. That's a good thing. Okay. Second one, you have to be a millionaire to buy a house in Dubai. So face up, what do you think about that one? Of course not, obviously okay. not. You don't have to be a millionaire or we can say you don't have to be a really known person or a what we call wealthy person. You can have the money and just mm -hmm. People in, like invest in many, many kinds of businesses, many kinds of, and we have like low prices of uh, properties if you are an early investor mm -hmm. here in Dubai. Mm -hmm. So you can get something with a decent price. As an investor, you can just make money out of it in a long term. Definitely. So you don't have to be a millionaire. Exactly. Actually, yeah. we have different kind of projects if we check off-plan properties under construction, yeah. we can find a property from 500,000 dirhams saying. that is like less than $150,000 around. If we go for secondary market, even for $100,000, we course. can find a property. So that's very affordable for everyone. So yeah. not Dubai is all luxury and super extra course, expensive yeah. Yeah. apartments. Yes, Dubai is for everyone. And with those prices, even with those prices, so they can pay half of it and the half they can actually mortgage it as well. 
Exactly. A lot of misconception is that more, uh, Dubai doesn't give mortgage. Dubai gives mortgage as long as you have a good bank statement. Of course. A six months bank statement. If self-employed, uh, your companies, if you're salaried, your personal bank account, six months uh, bank statement. That's correct. And then that's it. That's all they need. And then you can actually mortgage it and then you can pay the mortgage and own it at the same time. But of course, as I, as I always say, if you do have the budget, if you have the money, don't mortgage pay it on your own because for 25 years or 15 years that 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 uh, particular unit that you bought that house that you bought is going to be the banks it's not yeah, yours exactly so if you want to own something if you don't have the money mortgage perfect if yes pay it by yourself yeah. it depends of course on each client on each client client and what they are looking Definitely. for right yes. but so we can say that you don't need to be a millionaire to buy a house in dubai yes correct your pres- your pre-license Real estate course is the only education that you need. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> well, especially in a market like Dubai's Dubai. market, you have to be studying every day, every yeah, single day. Even the laws are changing every week. So you need to be updating yourself every time. So yes. just the initial course we take for our licenses and the basics, they're changing it every time. Of course. So a real estate agent has to be studying the whole time. Of course. Definitely. And I will, in yeah. addition to that, yeah. uh, like our job is mainly based on case scenarios. So you can't have a strict education or a course that will lead you all the way. Exactly. So depending on the case scenario, you have to be flexible. You have to know how to get the best outcome. Definitely. So that's true. And uh, another thing is, uh, I always say, real estate is like, of course, it's a less, it's a less uh, option of it. But real estate is like medicine. It's like uh, when me and a client is sitting down, it's a patient and a doctor for me. As long as they tell you exactly what they want, and the patient tells them what exactly is wrong with them, they will find the medicine. Yeah, exactly. If not, they will find something else which is not suitable for you. And since it's uh, we are investing our whole money savings or something you want to actually invest mm. in something and yeah. we need to be careful with that, which is why when agents ask you budgets, when agents ask you information, just give them the right kind of information so that they can find you the right one. That's right. correct. I agree with that. Obviously. So let's go with the fourth one, right? Yeah. The fourth one, right? Yeah. Go now. Sea or desert? Wow. Do I a sea? Or desert. That's a big misconception yeah. I hear many times, even before coming to Dubai. When you are going to Dubai, you are going just to find or the sea, like all these waterfront properties, or the rest are in the desert. In Dubai, there is nothing else. Yeah. More. And actually, the new projects, if you see these new developments, they are having a lot of new amenities, green communities. So you have green communities in the middle of the desert, as mm. yeah. this misconception says. Yeah. So it's a variety of options. Of Dubai course. is like an oasis inside the exactly. inside a desert, basically. They say there's no greenery. I say Dubai has the most greenery uh, comparing to the other Emirates, but I might be wrong, but <laughs> I, I like Dubai, so I'm going to go Actually, like, uh, based on real clients' comments, like, they get amazed and they exactly. come like going to marina because they think it's the sea or desert they expect that around the sea it's only sea and around the the other parts it's only desert you know but when they see the combination of how dubai is like built yeah actually they they have a way to take the the sea all over the the city. Yeah, actually, it's point. possible. So you go to downtown. We and have the Dubai Canal. You can't I speak about that. Like something amazing. You have to be here to understand. Exactly. There are feels. different lifestyles in Dubai for sure. The sixth one would be all brokers are the same. All brokers are the same. <laughs> I would start with that one because I think every broker has its own way of approaching. Even inside our office, every single agent has a different way of of talking to a client. And one of them is specialized in something, one of them is specialized in another. And as most of our clients would actually uh, confirm, when there is something that is uh, confusing or something that we don't know, we actually bring the other agent in who knows the, about the specialized data so that they don't miss anything from it. Exactly. Here the brokers, they have 
like their own specializations, let's say areas, let's say even the focus they have. So some of the brokers, they are specializing in off-plan properties, other ones in secondary market, other ones in rents. So there are different, different kinds yes, of Yes, and uh, something I have uh, been looking at, at, like in the past one year, I've been trying to connect with lots of brokers and actually there are different types of brokers. There are brokers who are like having the sales mentality, only sales mentality, which they want to get the money out of mm. the, the sell. There are others with advising mentality. So they want to get the best unit, the best deal to their clients, as we do here yeah, in Brazil, correct? Definitely. Right? definitely. Yeah. I talk, I give advice for 100 uh, clients and uh, maybe two of them will buy. But yeah. I will give them the same advice that I have given the previous one. But honestly, like so you, you, will, you will feel happy that you I do. I'm that? just uh, like getting people you, to know Dubai. And you want to know Dubai? Okay, this is Dubai. This is what you have to do to buy a house in Dubai. This is it. Yes. And then maybe that person would buy after two years. I don't mind. But as long as they are informed and as long as they have the information that they need, Maybe that person won't buy, but his sister will buy, but his son will buy. We are not in a rush to sell right now. The Kawal gun is not uh, our sales volume, but quality. Of course. course. Definitely. The sixth one will be real estate in Dubai is better to buy without an agent. Well, this one is a long, long topic, right? (laughs) Offensive, but okay. (laughs) And this is like uh, a really huge topic, but just to make it short... Uh, we have the variety, we have the options, we have the negotiation skills, we know what's the best to get to our clients. So simply, even with these three reasons, like yeah. these are the main exactly. structure of uh, something like for real estate sales, right? Exactly. Yeah. To buy a property, you need negotiation, you know how to negotiate. Exactly. How far do you have to go in negotiation? We can get always a better the price for each price. property. Yes. So yeah, let me about that. Let me tell you one story we had before. I guess you were aware about this story. Uh, we had a consultation with one client. So we are specializing mainly in off-plan properties. We explain the projects. We always choose the according to the client's needs the best project for them according to their budget and specifications. So it was one case, I guess you remember Nati and Faisal, Mm -hmm. they came, they took the consultation, they liked the project, but after, at that moment, they were not decided to buy. By themselves, they went after to the developer office, Mm -hmm. they bought the project directly to them. It's okay, like for us, if they like the project, okay, they bought it, even if if it was not through us. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But after came complications with the developer, right? Yes. Because the developer at that moment, they will sell the property, but after that, they will not have this link yeah. with the customer directly. But here we are, the real estate company, the real estate brokers, to always be on the client's side, so the buyer's okay. side. So if there is any complication with a payment, if there is any complication with the documents, we are here for that of course and at the end of the day they are not paying more if they buy through us or they buy directly to develop the, the developer because the price will be exactly the same mm. right correct so you can avoid these kind of things if you always pick a real estate company always that's what i always say i think i've talked about this like three or four times even in other podcasts yeah. and that's always like you guys said and to be uh, informed about what actually brokerages do is very important because it's like uh, going inside, uh, let's say, uh, a shop or yeah, a retail exactly. shop and then you don't know where to find anything. So you ask someone, right? Or you ask the security, where can I find uh, uh, this uh, retail that. shop? Yeah. You know what, what I mean? Instead of exactly. just going around. Of course. And maybe you're buying here with uh, 7,000 dirhams and then there it's 200. Exactly. It's it's uh, it's about knowing the things that exactly. they and it's our job here. We're not just here to make money and leave. It's our job here. We we are informed about every single thing every day. Like you said, we have trainings and everything. So yeah, I mean, have it's, it's the, it's the people's with the decisions documents and get the best prices. Of Definitely, of course. it's the people's choice. Ramzin is the people's choice. That's my new. Lo- that's my <laughs> the new, new. The my new, new motto. Yeah. The people's <laughs> choice. <laughs> 
Location doesn't matter. This is... If okay. there is anyone in real estate that says location doesn't matter, they need to change p- profession <laughs> right now. Of course. Because that is absolutely not true. Uh, location matters because of the budget. Location matters because of their in, uh, in interest, because of their intention. Exactly. If yeah. it's for investment or to live, if it's for flipping, if it's uh, low budget, high budget, everything. Is about because if you, if you think about it in another, like from another direction, real estate is about lifestyle, right? Yeah. It's your life. You live there or you rent it out so that somebody else will live there. So if you're like... A sea person, you want to swim and have this kind of uh, entertainment. It's ab- all about location. Yeah, you exactly. can't be somewhere really far from the sea and be like, oh, I, I have to go like mm. one hour, two hours drive to get to the sea. I exactly. guess. Exactly. Yeah. So location is even in the simplest, not even away from uh, investment, just for living. Exactly. It depends on the location. I know, of course, there are a lot of locations always in a city, but as you said, guys, each location has its own purpose, its yes. own focus, and each client is meant to be for one of these locations. Mm-hmm. Of course. And uh, another one would be a bubble in the UAE real estate market. Well, this is, I understand sometimes that the that the clients, they are asking, okay, they compare Dubai with other cities. Mm-hmm. And they could say that the prices are high, that overpriced, that buying here is impossible. Yeah. But actually, when you compare the Dubai prices with other cities, it's less. What you can buy uh, with one million dirhams here is twice or three times the size of in another yes. city. And yes. if we check, for example, the report from the UBS uh, Global Bubble Index, yeah. Dubai is in low risk. Like, yeah. It's so not right. even the, the last years has been the same. Oh, it course. didn't change, right? Definitely. And then the best three, like in the best three cities. Three cities, yeah. Yeah. And another thing I would like to say is uh, when you said Andres, it's uh, very expensive to buy here in Dubai. And with this money, I can go in America and I can buy a whole acre of, uh, of land. And they always tell me. And I would say it's about your comparison with Dubai because. In Dubai, of course, if I take you to Ajman, with that money, you can buy the same thing. Yeah. And it's only 40 minutes away, not if you go to America where it's two or three hours difference between each city. And what I want to actually make clear is the comparison between Dubai and Texas and Atlanta is not the right one. The right one is New York. Sing, sing up. I always don't know how to say this, this Singapore. country. Singapore. Sing, I doesn't owe it. Singapore, Singapore, yeah. Singapore, Hong Kong. These are the areas you should actually look for. London. Mm, like so the twenty-five London. city sector that we are having in this uh, yeah. UBS report, right? Yeah. So yes. Because each of them they has their own, uh, let's say, or their principal cities in each continent, so you can compare actually. Correct. Exactly. Yeah. All yeah. continents. Exactly. Everything is transparent. Then, and, and when you compare, if you buy something in here in uh, one million. In New York, I was searching. Maybe it's not exactly right, but I was searching. And with $1 million, you can buy a busted up trailer. And I saw the, the even the rails were a little bit rusted. Mm. And I was like, so this is what you buy in New York, yeah. but this is what you buy in Dubai. In, in Dubai. Okay. So you can't. You have to know what to compare it with. Exactly. And yeah. if that's the budget and if that's the thing you like, I will take you to Ajman. You can buy a whole villa with... Uh, 1.8 Even by million, the way, uh, I think you don't have to <coughs> go outside of Dubai to compare. You can compare Dubai yeah, with Dubai itself. Yeah. You get my point? So, like, as of the current time, like, we have properties starting from 500. Well, maybe let's go for one bedroom, 880 starting price, right? And we have, the like, the most expensive in the world. Almost 500 million dirhams was was sold last yeah, month exactly. or last two months, yeah. correct? And we still have the 750 million, so we're close to one billion. So, so we are not even like still close. For not our, even close for a bubble risk, right? Definitely perfect. Real estate agents only show houses listed with their own company. Oh, this is about networking. We always say like when a customer maybe comes to us and 
ask for a specific uh, area or a specific uh, building. We have networking with all the agents in the city. So it, the property hasn't be to be directly listed with us. We have the contact with them. We have agreements official with other brokerage. Mm -hmm. So we can showcase another one. So we have all the options in Dubai, not just our developers listing. and agents. Exactly. Course, yeah. Definitely. The last one, developing areas are not attractive. <laughs> For that me, means Dubai is not attractive yeah. because Dubai <laughs> for is me, actually, the, the developing areas are the most attractive. The most, most attractive, attractive for Capital investment. appreciation, up, upcoming uh, New metro projects. lines, and everyone. When you like, you are buying a off-plan project in a developing area, all the area, the area is developing of with that project. Yeah. It means everything will go higher. Of course. The price, you can flip, you can rent. When we talk about capital appreciation, it depends on everything around you. Exactly. Right? Everything exactly. around you. A hotel comes after like one year, you get something exactly. up on your price. Uh, a railway near to you, that's a plus. Amenities, parks, everything counts. So we don't have to underestimate uh, new developing that's areas, right? Definitely. Uh, for example, I would like to, to take Business Bay. Business Bay, now it's fully developed but maybe two years or three years back before Mercedes was launched before yeah. Bugatti was launched so they didn't have the idea of it so developing areas if they have plots to be built on that means something new might come which will take the prices and rentals skyrocket yeah, of course in, in, in no time so yeah. s developing areas are definitely attractive very attractive you so guys this was uh, another amazing podcast for sure and it was very informative so by the way. very informative we like to keep it short and informative it's like a tiktok reel just a little bit longer <laughs> <laughs> uh this was an amazing podcast and of course next week we will be coming with new informative ways to keep you guys updated about dubai real estate and see you next week thank you so much and see you Ramson Talks.